Hello everyone, welcome to Current Affair MCQ's program. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. Question was, consider the following statements. Statement 1. India must remain cognizant of global tax developments, particularly those concerning cross-border transactions. Statement 2. India's tax to GDP ratio at 10 to 11 percent is much lower than the global average. Which one of the following is correct in respect of the above statements? Both statements are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1. Both statements are correct and statement 2 is not the correct explanation for statement 1. Statement 1 is correct but statement 2 is incorrect or statement 1 is incorrect but statement 2 is correct. The correct answer is option A. Both statements 1 and 2 are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1. India must remain cognizant of global tax developments, particularly those concerning cross-border transactions. And statement 1 is correct. India's tax to GDP ratio at 10 to 11 percent is much lower than the global average. And statement 2 is correct. So both statements 1 and 2 are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1. Hence option A is the correct answer. Now let's begin today's episode. First question is consider the following statements. 1. The International Day of Awareness of Food Loss and Waste designated by the European Union aims to raise awareness and mobilize global efforts to reduce food loss and waste. 2. IDA FLW highlights the importance of achieving climate goals but does not relate to the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. 3. Food wastage refers only to food discarded due to spoilage, excluding losses in production or distribution. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option D, none. The United Nations General Assembly designated 29th September as the International Day of Awareness of Food Loss and Waste. It aims to raise awareness and mobilize global efforts to reduce food loss and waste. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. IDA FLW aligns with Sustainable Development Goal Target 12.3, which aims to halve global food waste and reduce food losses by 2030. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Food wastage refers to any food lost by deterioration or waste, including production or distribution. Thus, the term wastage encompasses both food loss and food waste. Hence, statement 3 is not correct. Hence, option D is the correct answer. Next question regarding the National Perspective Plan for Interlinking Rivers, consider the following statements. 1. The NPP aims to transfer water from surplus basins to diff deficit basins in India through the creation of artificial channels. 2. The Himalayan rivers development component includes projects like the Kosi Yamuna link and the Ganga Damodar Subarna Rekha link. 3. The peninsular rivers development component includes projects like the Mahanadi Godavari links and the Kane Betwa link. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option B, only two. The River Interlinking Project, also known as the National Perspective Plan, formulated in 1980 by the Ministry of Jal Shakti, is a large-scale civil engineering project that aims to transfer water from surplus basins to deficit basins in India. It involves the creation of artificial channels to connect rivers and water bodies. Hence, Statement 1 is correct. Key projects under Himalayan components include Kosi Ghagra Link, Ganga Damodar Subarna Rekha Link, and Kosi Mechi link. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Key projects under peninsular components include Mahanadi Godavari links, Godavari Krishna links, Par Tapi Narmada link, and Kane Betwa link. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Hence, option B is the correct answer. Next question consider the following statements. 1. Gross value added measures the value of goods and services produced in an area, industry, or sector minus the value of goods and services used up in production. 2. GVA is calculated by adding gross domestic product to the taxes earned by the government and subtracting the subsidies provided by the government. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option A, 1 only. Gross value added measures the value of goods and services produced in an area, industry or sector minus the value of goods and services used up in production. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Gross domestic product is calculated by adding gross value added to the taxes earned by the government and subtracting the subsidies provided by the government. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. GDP measures the total value of all goods and services produced within a country's borders in a specific time period. GDP is equal to GVA plus taxes earned by the government minus subsidies provided by the government. 
According to the RBI, the GVA of a sector is defined as the value of output minus the value of its intermediary inputs. This value added is shared among the primary factors of production, labor and capital. Hence, option A is the correct answer. Next question, consider the following statements about in-step program. One in-step provides a platform for participants to exchange ideas and strategies to address pressing security challenges. Two, the program is a collaborative effort between the National Security Council Secretariat, Ministry of External Affairs and Ministry of Defense. Three, the in-step program is attended only by Indian military and civil officers. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only, 1 and 3 only or 1, 2 and 3? The correct answer is option A, 1 and 2 only. InStep provides a valuable platform for participants to exchange ideas and strategies to address security challenges. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The program is a collaborative initiative involving the National Security Council Secretariat, the Ministry of External Affairs and the Ministry of Defense. Hence, statement 2 is correct. InStep is not limited to Indian military and civil officers. It includes international delegates with a recent gathering comprising 27 international delegates from 21 countries in addition to Indian officials. Hence, statement 3 is not correct. Hence, option A is the correct answer. Next question, consider the following statements about Sastra Ramanujan Prize. One, the prize is awarded by the Shanmugha Arts, Science, Technology and Research Academy University. Two, it is awarded annually to mathematicians aged 40 or below for exceptional contributions to mathematics. Three, the prize is named in honor of mathematician Srinivas Ramanujan and includes a cash award of 10,000 US dollars. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 and 2 only, 1 and 3 only, 2 and 3 only or 1, 2 and 3. The correct answer is option B, 1 and 3 only. Sastra Ramanujan Prize is awarded by the Shanmuga Arts, Science, Technology and Research Academy, University, Tamil Nadu. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The prize is awarded to mathematicians aged 32 or below, not 40 or below. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. The prize is named after Srinivas Ramanujan and includes a cash award of 10,000 US dollars recognizing outstanding contributions in areas influenced by Ramanujan's work. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Hence, option B is the correct answer. Next question, consider the following statements. 1. The Maritime States Development Council is the top statutory body for the integrated development of major and minor ports. 2. Recently launched Indian Maritime Center aims to resolve multimodal and international maritime disputes. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1. Only 2. Only both. 1 and 2. Or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option D. Neither 1 nor 2. Maritime States Development Council is an apex advisory body for the development of the maritime sector and aims to ensure integrated development of major and non-major ports. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. It was constituted in May 1997 in consultation with state governments, the future development of existing and new minor ports by the respective maritime states, either directly or through captive users and private participation. Indian International Maritime Dispute Resolution Center was launched at 20th Maritime State Development Council, concluded recently in Goa to resolve multimodal and international maritime disputes, reinforcing the Resolve in India initiative. So, it is not a think tank. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Indian Maritime Center, a think tank focused on fostering collaboration and innovation among maritime stakeholders. Hence, option D is the correct answer. Next question, consider the following statements regarding the Sports Authority of India. 1. It is an autonomous body established in 1984 under the Society's Registration Act 1860. 2. It was set up to carry forward the legacy of the 9th Asian Games held in New Delhi in 1982. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1. Only 2. Only both 1 and 2 or none of the above. The correct answer is option C. Both 1 and 2. The Sports Authority of India is an autonomous organization established in 1984 under the Society's Registration Act 1860 and is part of the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Government of India. It is the highest national sports body responsible for the promotion of sports in India at all levels. It was set up in 1984 to carry forward the legacy of the 9th Asian Games held in New Delhi in 1982. 
Hence, statement 2 is correct. Hence, option C is the correct answer. Next question, which of the following statements is true about the 1967 protocol relating to the UN Refugee Convention 1951? It removed the temporal and geographic limitations of the 1951 Refugee Convention. It introduced the definition of a refugee for the first time. It is only applicable to refugees in Europe or it eliminated the need for any state to adhere to the 1951 Refugee Convention. The correct answer is option A. It removed the temporal and geographic limitations of the 1951 Refugee Convention. The 1967 protocol broadens the applicability of the UN Refugee Convention 1951. The 1967 protocol removed the temporal and geographical limitations of the 1951 Refugee Convention. These limits initially restricted the convention to persons who became refugees due to events occurring in Europe before 1 January 1951. The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees serves as the guardian of the 1951 Convention and its 1967 Protocol. Hence, option A is the correct answer. Next question, consider the following statements. Statement 1. Competition authorities around the world are inclined to scrutinize and challenge mergers that may adversely impact competition in new age markets. Statement 2. India has joined a small group of nations which require a mandatory competition law review of deals based on their value. Which one of the following is correct in respect of the above statements? Both statements are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1. Both statements are correct and statement 2 is not the correct explanation for statement 1. Statement 1 is correct but statement 2 is incorrect or statement 1 is incorrect but statement 2 is correct. The correct answer is option B. Both statements 1 and 2 are correct and statement 2 is not the correct explanation for statement 1. Competition authorities around the world are inclined to scrutinize and challenge mergers that may adversely impact competition in new age markets. Hence, statement 1 is correct. India has joined a small group of nations which require a mandatory competition law review of deals based on their value. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Deals valued over Rs 2,000 crore now require an approval from the Competition Commission of India even if its turnover or asset-based thresholds are not met. So both statements 1 and 2 are correct and statement 2 is not the correct explanation for statement 1. Hence, option B is the correct answer. Last question regarding the Francophonie Summit 2024, consider the following statements. One, the one, for the first time in 33 years, the summit will be hosted by India. Two, the organization aims to promote the French language and cooperation between its 88 member states and government. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option B, two only. Francophonie Summit 2024. For the first time in 33 years, the summit will be hosted by France. Hence, statement one is not correct. The summit will take place in Paris and in Villers Cotterets, a city where in 1539 King Francis I declared French as the country's official language. The organization aims to promote the French language and cooperation between its 88 member states and governments, 54 full fledged members, 7 associate members, and 27 observer members. Hence, statement 2 is correct. It will deal with several key international questions that also matter to many non-French speaking countries, especially to India. These include the renewal of multilateralism and major digital issues linked to the development of artificial intelligence, as well as the need to promote cultural and linguistic diversity. Hence, option B is the correct answer. Now moving on to practice question. Regarding the freedom of speech, consider the following statements. 1. There are legitimate grounds on which free speech can be reasonably constraint. 2. As per Article 14, 2. Free speech can be restricted on the grounds of breach of security and integrity of India only. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.